Hey, I'm Louis Palmer and welcome to PlayBetterDrums.com and welcome to this lesson where I want to share with you a triplet exercise, a 16th note triplets. Uh, this is something that's great for the practice room to work on your mechanics and your movement around the drums, uh, but it's also something that can be used in a musical setting, perhaps something high energy where you want to play something fast using single strokes. Um, so a 16th note triplets, the sticking is very simple, right, left, right, left, right, left. Um, and Buddy Rich made this famous by playing it between the floor tom and the snare drum. Uh, but there's a ton of different other orchestrations that you can use and repetitive patterns that I'll get to. So if I was to just do that, play it between the floor tom and the snare drum, it would be like this. So that's the first thing to do, I want you comfortable with that, is then raise the tempo just between these two drums. So that may be something new uh, and something new to get used to because you're starting um, a group with the left hand and you're moving this way back towards the snare drum and that's a little unusual if you haven't done it before. So then uh, there are two things to practice. The first thing is some repetitive patterns that I'll show you uh, which move between the toms and then once you're comfortable with that the next stage of practice would be to improvise with this pattern with that right left right left right left right left right left right left sticking uh, and move it all around the drums completely randomly improvising, which is very difficult to do because of the nature of triplets uh, were switching the leading hand. So there are only certain places that you can and can't go based on what you've just played. So if you played right, left, right on this tom here, you can't then play something over here because you're starting the next group with the left. So if I, want, if I was playing this tom here and I wanted to go down to the 16, I'd have to go via the snare drum because that's the, the drum that I can start with my left hand. So first, here's, here's a few repetitive patterns uh, that you can practice around the toms. So some of these are pretty tricky, especially when you have to start covering bigger gaps, like from the 16 to the 10 in one of those patterns. Uh, that's very difficult and great practice. Um, so through those repetitive patterns, uh, you'll become more comfortable with moving around the drums and playing the sticking. And then the next stage is to learn to improvise with it and, and choose where you're going at the last minute and just improvise and play random patterns. Uh, so this is difficult. I found this very difficult at first, and that's why I found practicing those repetitive patterns uh, helpful in the beginning um, because you can of course use those within your improvising because there's, there's only so many patterns available um, it's just uh, being able to put them together without hesitating. So I'll give an example of that starting nice and slow.
So when I was first practicing that, I would be even slower than that because I would be uh, messing up because I would want to go to a certain drum, but the sticking wouldn't allow me. So you need to go as slow as you need to go to keep the flow happening and without stopping. Uh, and then of course, speed it up a little bit. So there is another way to phrase this sticking. So up until now, we've been doing 16th note triplets. So if I was to put that fill in a groove context at that tempo, But there is another way we can phrase it. We can phrase it in 30 second note triplets uh, in groups of nine. So we're gonna take the tempo way down in order to play the 30 second note triplets. So around that kind of tempo, 80 beats per minute. Um, and if we were to play 30 second note triplets, uh, which would be 12 notes per quarter note, it would sound like this. So that's the note rate we're going to be using, but we're going to play nine notes per quarter note, so groups of nine, which would sound like this. So, so you can see the, uh, hear the cycle, I'll play it between the floor tom and the snare drum. So the cycle is that we play on that first right hand of the first group of triplets, then you play two groups with no hi-hat, and then on that third group, you play the left foot hi-hat with the left hand, with that left hand starting that group of triplets. And that's the grouping, uh, or that's the phrasing, I should say. So then that al just allows us to play that fast-moving uh, triplet, right, left, right, left, right, left, uh, at its slower tempos. This also serves as a great endurance exercise for the hands. Uh, if we go back to the 16th note triplets, uh, and if you choose a couple of the repetitive patterns that we did towards the beginning of this lesson, uh, perhaps rather than choosing uh, to go with the improvising thing, especially when you're first learning this, just choose a couple of the repetitive patterns and play them for long periods of time at high tempos, as high as you can go before you lose control or sacrifice your sound or timing, but push yourself. Uh, and because we're dealing with toms, for the most part, 
um, where the heads are going to be slacker, it's going to be harder to pull out the sound. So it's kind of almost like practicing on pillows, but obviously we're still, you know, it's a bit more relevant because we're playing the drums. Um, but also it's hard on the hands because of the movement, because you're having to cover these big gaps. So it's really a fantastic hand exercise. Um, so have fun with that. I hope it helps. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next lesson.